Running the cutter in line with the motor makes it much easier to connect up with a piece of plastic hose. I can also unscrew the motor and slide it forward so that I can grease the inner bearing. I've made it so that two bolts hold it all together. It's held in place with dowels and the top cover is held on by a bungee cord. One advantage of running the cutter sideways is it doesn't throw any apple out of the chute. After the modification it was self-feeding and all it needed was a reshaping of the teeth to form a chisel edge. It's only ordinary curtain netting so it's not very strong. The press itself is made of steel welded together. It's operated by two six ton jacks. Three ton on each jack is plenty and I'm getting about 70% extraction. The former for making the cheeses is four inches deep. It's got enough separators to make five cheeses. The most we've ever put through is 80 kilos. Anyway, it's a learning curve all this, never having made one before.